The arrival of summer brings joy and sweet freedom. But back in the 1930s and 40s, Americans dreaded summer because this was the start of polio season. Polio is spread person to person by sneezing, coughing, and contact with human waste. But nobody knew that back then. The virus reproduces in the mouth, it reproduces in the intestine, gets into the blood, and invades the nervous system. And what it does is it kills a particular cell in the nervous system called the interior horn cell. And this cell tells the muscles what to do. It's like cutting the wires to a light bulb. The light goes off. The disease was also highly contagious. Polio would spread silently and then pick out its victim and continue to spread silently, pick out another victim. Kids in wheelchairs and leg braces became a tragically common sight. And thousands of families mourned for their children who had not survived. Worst of all, everyone knew the plague would return, summer after summer. And so the stage was set for a president, a scientist, and the American people to beat back the disease that crippled the nation.